it's clear that uh, the true power of Seldor is, is full react. Probably a nice note to full counter, given the fact that he is the brother of Meliodas. It uh, becomes clear, though, that um, can full react be the only power capable of reflecting the lion's sin of pride? Given despair, very likely, but we'll see, I guess. They did say for one minute Escanor is completely invincible. So the, I think the bigger question is, can Seldoris hold on for that one minute? This is the Nanatsu no Taisai chapter 288. As Seldoris shows his full power, a vacuum that sucks in and out people. Uh, sorry. Um, Luda, Shiel, and Margaret's body tries to combine together with the... Uh, to come to, that, together with Escanor in order to do it all. The angry enemy fan here to bring you it. They try to obscure Seldor's vision, but he still manages to cut them aside. As he gets more and more violent with attacks, he proclaims himself to get serious and even surpasses Marilyn's teleportation techniques. But Escanor managed to save her from a deadly attack. So, uh, uh, but she, uh, but Merlin does get hurt, so he gets mad and fires off extreme bombs of power that despite reaching Seldoris it does not seem to affect him. It's only after uh, that Merlin pays attention to the attack that she is able to calculate how this power of Dark Nebula really works. It's a simple yet unparalleled in its brutality. Basically, uh, is uh, ominous Nebula is uh, an ultimate state of concentration. He accelerates the darkness within his own body and spiders around him, creating a vortex that pulls in all living things around him with a terrifying force. It's basically that's why it becomes like a vacuum. And uh, everything that enters that area will be shredded into ribbons, whatever it's dirt or another person. So, uh, so that's why Merle names it Full React. An ability that is just like that. Ludashiel proclaims that uh, they cannot lose, I mean, uh, she, he, whatever gender it is now, because as uh, Lu as a, our head of the four archangels and the leader of Stigma, he, uh, Ludashiel, as an angel, as a goddess, has say, sacrificed everything, as he remembers the day Mael presumably died, but no, we all, as we all know, later on, uh, Mael didn't die. The thing is, he sacrificed way much more also in the Holy War, but even before that, the fake death of Mael. So I don't really understand what that means, but it does confirm something another one said a long time ago, that Ludus shall sacrifice love, friendship and everything, yes, to win. The fact that you did that only further proved that you had, that you had no chance of it all. Seldoris tries to finish off Ludus shell, but Gilfander wanted to protect uh, the body of... Uh, Margaret steps in forward, so the only one that is left is Escanor. However, uh, Merlin notices that it's only one minute for that thing, so she teleports Escanor a little bit closer, and Escanor walks freely into the ominous era. For you all know one thing, it's that time of the year. The peak of the sun is at its peak. Now, for one minute, there doesn't matter if you're a highest ranked demon. This is a power you cannot overcome, as Escanor proclaims that uh, it seems all of you brothers are dying to get the crap beat it out of me. With that, the one enters. Now can the pride of lion defeat this one? Who knows? It's basically it. Yes, some actions and nothing really big happening to it. It was a nice twist to it all, but... Uh, other than that, it wasn't really that remarkable, but it was nice action of it all. So, through the Seldoris is a candidate for the Demon King. Now is the question though, can the One even overcome Seldoris? For just one minute he's invincible. But I'll see what happens. Give me your thoughts if you have any.